Okay, so I have a drawing um, of a study idea for the circadian clock. So if you look at the diagram that's in front of you, um, the very first thing that you want to do with this diagram is I want you to write out the four organs. So we're looking at the circadian clock, and we're going to add in the Tai Yin, and the Shao Yin, and the Yang Ming, and all that. So let's look, and we'll start with a diagram that has four organs across. So we have lung, LI, stomach, and spleen. Underneath that, we're going to put heart, SI, UB, and kidney. Underneath that, we're going to put the pericardium, the Sien Jiao, the gallbladder, and the liver. Now, at the top of the page, right above the lung, put hand. Above the LI, put hand. Above the stomach, put foot. Above the spleen, put foot. So now you've got your hand, hand, foot, foot. Next to the lung, you want to write in the time 3 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock a.m. That's the time of the lung. Go to the heart and write in 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and that goes with the heart. On the pericardium, you want to write in 7 p.m. to 9 p.m for the pericardium. Now the reason that I'm having you do this is sometimes you'll get questions and they'll say what time is the spleen? And rather than starting let's say you were a person that started on the liver okay you don't want to go through all those time zones to get to the spleen. So if you went back to the lung and you've, you already have this written out you write it out before you start your test Go back to the lung and say, all right, so I know the lung is 3 to 5. And then so I know the LI is 5 to 7 a.m. The stomach is 7 to 9 a.m. And the spleen is 9 to 11 a.m. The heart. So what happens if they ask you a question on what's the, the time for the kidney? So instead of you starting at the lung, you can start at the heart. So the heart has 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, so where's the kidney? Okay, so the heart is 11 to 1. The SI is 1 to 3. The UB is 3 to 5. And the kidney is 5 to 7. Okay, so now it's an easy way for you to find the kidney. Now, if they asked you the liver, you don't want to start all the way over at the lung. So the pericardium is 7 to 9 p.m. The Sien Jiao is 9 to 11 p.m. The gallbladder is 11 to 1 a.m. And the liver is 1 to 3 a.m. Okay, so now you're right there at the liver. Okay, so that's maybe a quicker way of doing the circadian clock. If you go to the next diagram, what you can do here is you want to make um, a line that goes from the LI to the stomach. So you have a little line there. And then one that connects the lung and the spleen. Then go down and connect the SI with the UB. and the heart to the kidney. Go down to the Sien Jiao and the gallbladder and connect those with a line. And go to the pericardium and the liver and connect that with a line. Okay, so let's look on the next page. So on the next page, you now put above the LI in the stomach, you're going to put Yang Ming. So now that you know that the LI is hand Yang Ming and the stomach is foot Yang Ming. Now you have that line that goes from the lung to the spleen. 
Under that line, you want to put Tai Yin. So you now know that the lung is hand Tai Yin, and the spleen is foot Tai Yin. Let's look at the SI and the UB. You want to put above it Tai Yong. You now know that the SI is hand Tai Yong, and the UB is foot Tai Yong. Underneath the heart and the kidney line, you want to put Shao Yin. You have the heart, which is hand Shao Yin, and you have the kidney that's foot Shao Yin. Going to the San Zhao and the gallbladder, above that line you're putting Shao Yong. The San Zhao is hand shai, Shao Yong. The gallbladder is foot Shao Yong. Under the pericardium and the liver, you're putting Zhui Yin. The pericardium is hand Zhui Yin and the liver is foot shui yin. Okay, so it's a nice little diagram that you write out before you take the test so that you get a general idea. So if they give you any questions on circadian clock, on what's the hin tai yin or the foot tai yong or anything like you, get, you have it written right down here in front of you. All right, and it's done before you start taking the test. And you never want to do it in the middle of the test because you sometimes people tend to feel overwhelmed by all the questions that they have. So try this. If you've been in school for a few years, you probably already have something that's working for you. If you're a first-year student, this might be helpful to you.